ladies and gents, and the rest. Today I'm going to show you the decks that you have to play with a new modifier. These are the decks that I use. These are the decks that work, work, work really well. They are super fun, super easy to execute. And uh, especially if you don't need, if you don't want to get like 20,000 honor, uh, you're going to have a lot of fun. Um, you don't have to put any effort, which is very rare. Here is what's happening right now. We have the new modifier, this guy. First strike, non-spell minis deal double damage on their first attack. Unfortunately, they, uh, we had the bugged spells a few days ago. They nerfed it immediately. It was a lot of fun, but you know, if something is fun, it gets nerfed, right? Uh, it, it wasn't intentional, so I guess that's why they fixed it. <coughs> but that double damage on the first attack works with sappers. You know what it means, right? That means I'm like literally in heaven right now because I love sappers. Ugh. It's my favorite unit, sappers and chickens. So I'm going to show you the decks that are uh, super easy to execute. I already said that, but I'm going to say that again. I hope the blizzard is not going to nerf it because it's kind of not broken. It's just fun to play. Uh, let me t show you what we're doing today. You're going to have four decks, obviously. I usually play the, like a four deck combo. So, All right, here's our first deck, Chalga. So what we do, like whenever the game starts, doesn't matter what map it is. <clears throat> Maps actually matter for sir for some heroes, but not for Chalga. Uh, so when the map starts, unless you have to use this three gold uh, safe pilot, to kill like a Murkai, so he doesn't spawn any extra Murlocs, or to kill Jaina, or something like that. So unless you have to do that, you spot you go Charlga, Bandits, um, obviously Sappers, and you know everything. You use everything except uh, Safe Pilot because Safe Pilot is three gold. If you use Safe Pilot, you you will have three gold uh, cost in your cycle. Da -da 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 -da. You know how Charlga works, right? So. Um, your your goal is to spawn as many sappers, and usually you have to split them all over the map. And thing is that because your deck is low cost, the enemy uh, will eventually not be able to cycle through to defend the, to kill sappers quickly. Because if you start if you throw sappers like right away, they usually have some like deep breath or chain lightning or something like that. But if you keep doing that all the time. If you keep applying pressure left and right, left and right, uh, at some point he the the opponent will not have um, the spell to, or something anything to defend uh, against sappers. And as you know, the sappers do double damage, which means you only need three sappers, not three units like three couples, or three pairs of sappers. You need three sappers to hit the core to win the game. That is the idea with this deck. With Every deck that I'm going to show you, that's the idea. You spawn, 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 spawn sappers. And uh, with the, in this deck, we don't have a cheat death. So uh, the next deck that I'm going to show you is uh, two, 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 is Baron. Here's a couple of interesting things about Baron. So you, we do the exact same thing. We play um, like one, two, three, four cards, unless we have to play something else. So I guess, again, we have safe pilot to defend against, uh, to kill Janus, to kill um, Murkais and stuff like that. Um, and in any other case, we use these four. We have cheat death with bloodlust here. Why do we need bloodlust? Because um, most of maps are extremely small unless you play an ultra art. <coughs> and um, five seconds of immortality plus bloodlust give you extra movement speed uh what the reason why other talents are worse is because let's say you come to the core and somebody hits your um sappers while they're under the effect of cheat death and they have one hp if sappers if the effect of cheat death falls while sappers are charging the core the core uh, will be able to do at least one damage and that's exactly what you need to kill sappers. So even if your sapper is alive, but with one HP, they're not going to be able to hit the core. So that's why you take uh, cheat death with bloodlust, which gives them extra movement speed. So now they have 
they either make it while under the effect of cheat death, or if the, there is no cheat death, they're just going to die. So that's how it works. And we use cheat death here. It's really good because we have undead slots, and cheat death gets bonus levels. So it's it works really well. Uh, again, you, you all know how this works. Baron Raven there is probably the only <laughs> always meta hero. Uh, be using frozen skeletons, obviously we get extra map pressure all over the all, with, all over the map, and with the flame tower modifiers, <laughs> they do a lot of damage, right? I actually don't know if they uh, if this new modifier with double first attack. Um, applies to the skeletons and never paid attention but it doesn't matter you will see how good it works how good it works how well it works you fucking idiot next deck it's oh my god if you get this if you have this deck and you get uh gadget gadgets on map <laughs> you can literally like put the put your device if you play it on the tablet on the on the chair sit on it and just shake your ass and you're going to win the game. That's how easy it is to win. So it's the exact same formula, but uh, again, safe pilot. You can actually use any talent with safe pilot. You can use stealth. You can use common and hot. I use common and hot usually because it, it, it lands faster. I, I sometimes need uh, damage ASAP, right? This, this, this milliseconds, they sometimes, sometimes they, they just decide their deciding factor. So, um, if you use Sneed on on the maps with gold chests and you get the gold chests, you know how you know what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna get six gold instead of two, and it's just right. So um, yeah, that's that's the, probably the best deck. Uh, as you can see, this this deck I'll show you. This is a like blue Sneed six thousand already. Like that's how powerful that is. And your Sneed is usually like he's not even considered to be like a playable hero uh in, in the previous meta in the previous modifiers right so just imagine how good he is murkai so the murkai the difference here is that you actually don't use low low gold cost units all the time what you do is you play normal murkai deck so you spawn murkai you spawn other units and behind those you spawn um sappers Sometimes you only play sappers, obviously, it depends on the situation, but most of the time you, you, you do that. Because you apply pressure everywhere and you force your opponent to use defensive spells or to defend. And when your opponent defends, your opponent usually doesn't have chain lightning or doesn't have safe pilot. And those are the only ones that can counter sappers. Because the main, the, the biggest damage in the game right now is sappers. Like I said, three sappers, dead. GG. And here we're using cheat death with the vampirism effect we don't use bloodlust because we need them we need things to be alive and since we have a lot of little shits um we apply uh, cheat death and they live longer they dps the core and the, the uh, cores and towers can't kill range units and most of like all of the murlocs that the murkai spawns are range units so that's gonna be that's gonna have a lot of value to do uh, here that we have uh, prowler you can use any of three talents honestly i use this one predatory instincts because it does double um, damage to the 75 percent uh, health hp units also if prowler doesn't hit anybody on his way to the core he will do double damage which means it's going to be four times Four x damage to the core on the first hit. That's that's a cool thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, I hope I, I'm not explaining the obvious things. A quill bore with poison to kill bubble murlocs real quick. Murlocs we used murlocs like uh, because first of all because it's a beast slot and it, these are the range uh, cheap effective units. Griffon Raider. Every, oh. Because of the modifier, you can actually afford having low, uh, like level eight Griffon Raider one shots level ten Griffon Raider. So if you go level ten versus level eight, uh, like the opponent has level ten, yours is level eight, you one shot each other still. So it kind of makes it equal because Griffon Raider is a deadly unit for the enemy's for for your core and for the enemy's core because uh, the core barely damages Griffon Raider and Griffon Raider damages core a lot. By a lot. 
So, I believe that is all. Let's take a look at some games. The games actually start and end really quickly, uh, which in my, in my opinion is a lot of fun. Uh, I hate long matches. Uh, let's take a look. I'm gonna mute the sound on the video. Let's go. Number one game, uh, we're using Murkai. Again, the Prowler with any talent. Okay, I spawned Prowler right away. The reason, like, why did they do this? Because if you spawn fast unit, which is Murlax, Murkai, Prowler, Baron, right away when the game starts, by the time the chest spawn, your unit that you spawn will be at the sec at the farther chest. So you will be able to fight for the further chest if you do it this way. So this, this, is, this is what I was trying to do. I spawned the Prowler right away because I wanted to reach that second, yeah, that uh, chest where the skeletons are. But the, this A-hole, look what he's doing. Level 10, way late. Eh? And I lost both chests because I'm a greedy POS, right? But uh, my my quail board defended, and he spawns my fancy kills every time. So I lost the left more uh, uh, blah, 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 sapper, but uh, this one almost reached the core. I cheat death that because look how much damage she does. Bam, one third of HP gone. So uh, to do to do again, keep playing the same way. This we're playing against my F, by the way. I forgot to mention. So, okay, what he's doing, he's he's going to attack our core. And all we need to do, again, we need to escort our sappers to his core. And we are going to win the game. Uh, my Fs, the way they do it, they spawn a uh, few units at your core. And they bloodlust that. Blood, they, they do bloodlust execute. And that's how they uh, think they're going to win. My F is not, in my opinion, is not the best hero to use right now. We're doing the exact same thing. We split. Uh, sappers at your at our core all the time left and right and again one more sapper made it bam yep look at the core almost done easy schmeezy just throw things left and right apply pressure just do, so that the opponent use like waste spends his gold left and right too and then now we would do the exact same thing we that would spawn zappers left and right and uh yeah again <laughs> the left one dies again and the right one is almost made it. Just in case I'm going to cheat death that. Yes, yes, sir. Bam. That's how you win games with these modifiers, boys. That's how you do it. Pieta. I believe it's like top one um, in the world right now in terms of points. I have no idea what this guy is doing here. Uh, this is Drakisad. So, yeah, again. Our, my Murkai was in my starting hand. I spawned everything. Was trying to. Okay, here's what I'm doing. The reason why I did that is because I remember what I told you about Prowler. So um, Prowler has probably has predatory instincts, and he hasn't hit anybody on his way. So that means he's gonna hit the core really hard. Bam! I didn't really look hard, but uh, I guess it's fine. Yeah. That's why I distracted the core with my. Uh, Quillbor. So, okay, boom. We cheat death our sappers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how you, that's how you win games, guys. This is super easy, super speedy, schmeezy. And if you, especially if you don't shoot for 20k, like you're gonna have, you're gonna get your points like effortlessly. You will get to 16k like, <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? Grief on Raider, doing the job. Uh, the core, the core will finish the job, I guess. Yeah. Uh, doing the same thing. Try to uh, throw things in a different spot. Yeah, like so that thing, deep breath doesn't happen. It still killed my Murkai, but you know what I'm saying. I I still throw yeah sappers hoping to just run by and hit the core, but <laughs> just, you know what I'm saying? didn't work. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Like look what he's doing. Like, like Griffon Raider. Is almost uh, attacking our core for free, and you had to prevent that from happening. Freaking witch doctor kills everything. Finally, some good core units. Eh? Uh, so Drakisad is gonna hit our core really hard, and that's me being a dumbass. Uh, I thought that was it, but we're going to keep applying pressure, and um, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, pretty much. I thought I was dead because, like, he, why? 
uh, he needs one deep breath and he also has chain lightning maybe he was nervous maybe i don't know what happened but look what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna yeah and he 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 spent his chain lightning on my sappers instead of just hitting my core i don't know why he did that i would think he was throwing but he's trying to fight he's not trying to he's not afk in he you know what i'm saying i don't know he doesn't send me any emotes saying that hey <laughs> you know this bullshit i don't know what's going on but again i'm just doing what i'm doing you throw sappers and you wait for cheat death you cheat death and that's how it's gonna end maps is very my map is very small that's why it allows you to uh pretty much uh cheat death sappers on in the middle of the map <laughs> and still make it to the enemy score okay the problem with uh murkai by the way this is going to be i believe it's going to be a loss so the problem with murkai is this map i won that previous encounter because it was drag out i guess um or i don't know why but you're not supposed to win so if you use murkai and you lose on this map using this strategy it's okay it's perfectly fine because one if you cast deep breath correctly uh you kill everything there is absolutely no way to spawn things certain way like you can do in an alterac and just save portion of your units there is absolutely no way to do it and i'm playing like dog shit um this time so that's fine i guess it's it's like i don't even know what to do whatever i do it just you know and he, he tried to use cheat death and missed it but <laughs> fucking griffon raider killed me eh? so uh it's going to look pretty bad and uh yeah like i said if you if you lose on this map it's okay it's fine eventually by the way um i i didn't include the games uh here but instead of prowler i started using polymorph with a gold talent obviously um you again you don't you can do the same thing and just uh, because at some point I realized that this uh, Murkai's deck doesn't have anything to counter Sappers. I started uh, <laughs> getting s the guys that don't probably use different decks, but the same strategy kind of like they use Sappers. And uh, yeah, yeah just, I, I just don't want to give any commentaries on this particular matchup. Match. So yeah, uh, at some point uh, I started getting Sappers against me. And I needed something, because as you can see, I have nothing to counter them. So I started using Polymorph instead of Prowler. Just put it in the B slot and you're going to be fine, right? So, uh, yeah. Because I believe it's the last game of that I wanted to show. All the games end very quickly. This is one of the longest games where you make it to overtime. Um, usually it's like, you know, the opponent misses the first couple of sappers and usually people AFK because it's just, you realize you fucked, you have like a little bit of HP left. And, uh, oh, and also I wanted to show, I'm going to show you one uh, deck that I'm working on. In theory, it works. In practice, it's, uh, uh, I haven't tested it enough yet. Uh, I, at the end of this video, I will, uh, sh I'll tell you something uh, about the Emperor Tharizan. Uh, how to make certain things work together, a couple of synergies. Do, 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 do. Come on, just kill me. I'm, I'm surprised I made it to overtime. Like, I was supposed to be dead a million years ago. Come on. Just finish it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, it's just, <laughs> it wasn't even overtime. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got Sneed. Yeah, this is pure, like, this is... This is so much fun. This is the best deck for you're gonna feel like like you're gonna feel like you're in heaven or something. Again, gold chest, you take them with Sneed, 
every time sappers uh, take tower and this map is full of towers as you can see every time sappers take towers you, you get gold you just spawn things left and right and in the middle you fly whatever watch bram six gold gold cap immediately and now you start throwing things left and right uh, you you get gold cap immediately uh, so you uh, it's okay you don't you can waste gold you can you know not waste gold <laughs> nobody cares so again sneed watch look at my look at my gold ah you didn't see that probably but sneed hit the tower back took it back and i you get a lot of you, you got millions of gold back boom sappers just hit the core again you get plus two gold again and it just keep going you you literally spawn sneeds like baron spawns frozen skeletons like you give no shit about gold i killed my sapper see I'm not even taking this gold chest because I'm waiting for Sneed, yeah. Go like this. Then I'm gonna get Sneed, bam. Sneed will take this gold. Get six gold, you get pretty much free Sneed. Da -da -da -da. And you keep spawning things, you keep applying pressure. And keep applying, keep applying. Again, bam, you take you take chest, you take, uh, you take a tower, boom, you get gold back, get gold back. Bam, 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 bam. Almost at full, you almost gold cap all the time. Keep throwing sappers, keep throwing sappers, keep throwing sappers. And I believe that's it. Yeah, so we got the tower. And that's pretty much the end. Because there is absolutely no way to recover from the, from here. And da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Right? We have one sneed, we have another sneed. We have up. Sappers, and that's GG. That's how all the games usually end, right? So, um, again, sorry, it's the same map, a different player, very strong player as well. But I just, you know, I just don't have other type of games, especially with Sneed. As soon as I get to Sneed, I usually win right away and I, it's, I, I switch hero. So, yeah. The exact same strategy, you take a gold chest with Sneed, and you keep throwing sappers left and right, left and right, until you get at least one tower. Once you get one tower, you can either protect that tower, or you can just keep throwing things left and right, left and right, left and right, and eventually the enemy just will just... You, like, the enemy will not have as much gold as you do, because you get, get gold for everything. The enemy doesn't get gold for shit. Like, they only get gold for gold chests, and it's like two gold, right? And you get six, so... Da -da -da -da. it's so much fun like when you watch it maybe it's boring but when you play this deck it's like ah piece of cake especially if you're not a, if you don't want to be like 20k guys da -da. up exactly with smoke bomb the sapper sapper takes the tower back da -da -da -da. and now we are we start to well, like we, we pretty much took all the towers, even though it's been constructed and it's not ours, but it's going to be ours again. Plus two gold again. Uh, for some reason, uh, my screenshot with my Sneed deck disappeared, but you remember that. <laughs> just scroll, just go back a little bit and you will see the screenshot if you want. I have no idea because I'm a fucking terrible editor, I guess. Da -da -da -da. Um, that's almost the game. Yeah, I can't even show you something like any... Uh, any drama, any intrigues, because uh, it's just that's how it ends usually. There's no, it's just fast as fuck, and uh, yeah. Chalga, by the way, yeah. So we're down with Sneed. Let's go with Chalga. Um, by the way, when you play Chalga or whatever you play, don't ever be afraid to almost lose the game. If you have like five percent HP, that doesn't mean nothing, because like I said, like you saw, sappers they just literally almost one shot the core so what i did um yeah i killed we were killing murkai to stop murlocs from spawning but he has too much stuff like look at this it's just it's, it's a nightmare right so this is how i do it do, do, do. i i smoke bombed the sappers but i believe yeah <laughs> that's what happened even though he has a huge army i don't have anything look at his core that's how you do it I believe this time he is going to... Yeah, it turns out he has Arcane Blast, which he didn't use last time because he didn't have gold. Um, so, yeah. Gotta be careful now. Um, 
sometimes you can still have that and lose the game but i managed to take left tower that's why what we're gonna do we're going to we're going to throw deploy a new zappers from the left tower and it will be almost impossible to react on like this Bam, but here that oh <laughs> no okay by the way smoke bomb with the movement speed it also increases the animation of charge so when they're here you go like this they charge and that charge speed also is also 50 percent faster keep that in mind okay arathi basin we're playing against hoga Shmoga. same thing you would split sappers left and right left and right left and right and eventually uh, the opponent won't be able to defend and he doesn't even bother to yeah doesn't even bother to defend that's fine i guess how can you can't can, like I, I hate level 10 well based so much to dun to dun to dun up i throw like my they file it like that and yeah he spawns griffon raider and she's gonna kill my safe pilot ba -ba -ba -ba. yep deploying cobalt and throwing cobalts keep throwing cobalts left and right left and right left and right Boop. i'm d i'm about to defend the left tower so yeah like that i believe our safe pilot has to do a lot of to do a good job because she was she's walking behind yes boom she killed all of them she killed everything so now our cypress go straight to the enemy's core yeah like that why because we have our deck is too cheap and we throw more cypress per second than our opponent can defend that is the magic of this of the, all of those decks <laughs> I, I, that's probably my favorite modifier that I have ever seen, because sappers like it like this, this modifier literally makes sappers gods, and it doesn't really touch anything else. So how can you say no to that, right? I mean, you, me. You guys probably hate sappers, and yeah, we're doing pretty basic stuff. We're defending our structures, and we just throw sappers. I have no idea why I threw sappers so far from the from his core. Don't ask me this question, please. Yep, and he just, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to say. You just literally brainlessly throw sappers left and right, cycle, 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 throw sappers left and right, and you win the game. Okay, I don't remember what's gonna happen. Maybe it's gonna be a loss. Because Jaina on this map is extremely strong, extremely. Okay, Arcane Blast and my Jaina, uh, my bandits died. So we distract Janita and we just cast Zappers up. By the way, for those who don't know, let me show you something. Uh, when you throw, when you split Zappers on this map, even if one goes left and the other goes right, right here, if you save pilot correctly, you can still kill both sappers here. Because if you don't have chain lightning sometimes, because if you have chain lightning, you, chain lightning, you can kill them here when, while, while they're walking from the tower, from the core to here, you can kill them anytime. But if you don't have uh, chain lightning, if you have safe pilot only, you can kill them here if you, if you like land correctly, just so you know. Because it, it looks like you can't reach, the, you, you can't hit both, but you can. Just saying. We're doing pretty normal, ordinary things. We just again cycle through and get as many cybers as we can. Yeah, I'm distracting the tower. Boom. Boom. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> One third of the core gone. Da -da 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 -da. My level eight badass. Up. Ba bam. Kill Jaina. We only use safe pilot to kill Jaina's and you know things like that. Up, up. Now they're too close to the core, and it's really hard to react on them. On them. That's how it's done. 
Baron, the last hero that we're going to see today. Um, the pluses of Baron are, are obviously his skeletons, because it's constant pressure, especially on this small map. Um, they all, the skeleton always hit towers, the skeleton always attack Griffon Raiders, the skeleton always take first hit of every unit, because for if, if, your, if your unit, if the enemy's unit hits something, it spends this uh, modifier's bonus, right? Double damage on the first hit, and if you hit the free skeleton, who gives a shit, right? So, yeah. <laughs> My F, by the way, my F's first hit is her fan of knives, so be careful. She one shots things. She, she hits really, really hard. Um, which is my F. Uh, Sometimes you probably seen like same names because at the top you pr you play against the same people. It's like twenty or like twenty five people that play against each other all the time. If you if you get to like a Dark Iron three, from Dark Iron three and higher, you're gonna start playing against the same people all the time. Um, Sorry, I totally forgot about the game. But yeah, it's, it's the same gameplay, games, same play style everywhere. You just throw split sappers, split sappers, split sappers until the opponent just can't defend. That's it. And you you deploy, you throw safe pilots and heroes or something that costs more than two gold only in a very specific case. All right, who do we have? We have a Murkai on this map. This is a obviously very good map for us a very bad map for murkai the problem here is that it would be a good map for us if we had a deep breath but since we don't have a deep breath uh we only have safe fire yeah, we have to kill murkai we're using safe pilot and it's not good imagine if we add one more gold and we would have deep breath all right we would delete it we would have deleted everything we would have hit both one tower your the enemy's core and all of that would be dead but not gonna happen boom we distract the core so it doesn't hit our zapper just in case right and yeah that's what we do that's how we do it and now we keep cycling zappers 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 more sa yeah he had chain lightning yep. and look at what skeletons are doing to the core ah Huntress just killed everything, but they did a lot of damage. And I believe I just saw a, a huge, I saw a huge damage from skeletons. That means that uh, I think skeletons do get, uh, get bonus from their modifier. He is actually uh, showing a great micro control and he is throwing um, Miner and um, quill bore in front of his huntress so the huntress would stay alive and huntress killed everything they killed my baron but i think they spent too much uh, resources to kill one for gold baron okay he he drops <coughs> murkai again drew murkai and huntress which is very deadly uh, pa, 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 boom we killed a lot of things but a lot of things are still keep coming keeping coming du, 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 du. I don't know why I dropped Baron when everything was killed already, but that's me. Welcome. Hello. Okay, sappers are coming again, again, again. He didn't use chain lightning on time, that's why. Boom! And up. Uh, he beats two hits of two charges of chain lightning to kill. So it's like four gold of chain lightning to kill two gold of sappers. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, positive gold trade thing, but uh, it's kind of good, right? Huntress is coming. We keep doing what we're doing. Up. One gold bandits are up. Oh, perfect. Somehow he didn't have chain uh, lightning, and we, we just got lucky, or maybe uh, something else happened that I didn't notice. Okay, here is the last game that I would like you to see to watch. That's how how unfair or how interesting this game might be. We're playing against Jaina on the small map, and this is like the best map for Turtle Jainas. So 
Turtle Jaina, for those who don't know, it's uh, aka play like a bitch when you don't really do anything until overtime. And then you, uh, uh, when overtime starts, you get double gold and then you just spell the shit out of the enemy's core, which is my core, and you win the game. So look what I'm going to do to him. Zhoo. So we, we keep throwing safe pilot only on to kill Jaina, right? This harvest golems, they do enormous amount of tanking and they have stun. And that is what saves his ass all the time. So look at this. We like his core is what is it one third of HP and my Griffon Raider keeps attacking, keeps attacking, keeps attacking. And we have a full HP on, on our core. <laughs> it's going pretty well, right? Keep watching. The problem here is that now he learned how to defend and he like he knows how to manage his spells and his gold correctly so that my Cypress don't cannot make it to the core. The problem with my deck is that I cannot I don't have any spells to attack the core. I can only attack things with Cypress. And um for some reason I believe he either has polymorph or for some reason I was not using Chi Death. Probably because I am an idiot. Or because I know he has polymorph. We'll see. Let's keep watching, so I keep applying pressure. Up, exactly. Up. And because his chain is on a battlefield, he one shots everything with just one simple chain lightning, right? Up. No, couldn't make it. You see, one minute left. His score is still like he's almost dead, but almost doesn't count, right? Until he is dead. And now look at my core. Jaina hit my core two a couple of times. Look what happened. One more time, boom, boom. I have nothing else to do but apply, but throw in sappers, and that's my problem. And now his Jaina will, I believe, will stop dying. Oh no, she's she still dies uh, from my by my safe pilot, but. At some point, it's just stop. It's gonna stop happening, and my safe pilot won't be able to kill Jaina. And then, yeah, my core, by the way, is not full at full HP anymore, as you can see. So taking this tower uh, makes absolutely no difference, as you can see, because his Jaina is super tanky now, and she hits like truck. She literally one shots everything. Uh, every single unit that I have, she one shots it, <laughs> and she's like t probably like two or three shots the quill bore. <clears throat> yeah and there is absolutely nothing and i know that if he makes it to overtime i'm dead and he does like like five four three two one gg overtime double gold and bad things are gonna start happening to my core he just i believe he just executed my core two 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 kill killing everything at some point, I kind of realized that there is nothing I can do now. But I can't stay AFK, right? That's why I'm trying to do something. One more execute. Yes, we're going to kill this Jaina, but there's one on the left side again. Baron level, <laughs> Baron level 9, come on. I'm trying to hit the score up and doesn't work. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, speaking, I was, uh, I said I would tell you something about the Emperor. Well, so, what you can also try, it's in theory for, for those who care, this deck here. So, the way it works is you replace this thing with, um, actually, you can keep movement speed, that's fine. So, thing is that we're using this talent of the Emperor plus two levels. So, if you add uh, plus two levels to your sappers and your sappers uh, hit the enemy's core, the amount of HP that the core will have will be like teeny tiny. And with this deck, you will be able to just throw these whelps at the enemy's core and then cheat death them. And the whelps with the bloodlust, they're just going to finish the core. So you technically have to escort 
crafted your sappers only once it's not playable at very high level but the lower levels it might be actually very deadly combo so one pair of sappers literally wins the game um you can try it if you want um but i i'm it doesn't work for me at a high level but at lower levels i pr i'm pretty sure it's going to be super pooper toxic way more toxic than these four decks i hope it was informative this is what i'm going to be playing in the next two weeks hopefully i'll hit 20k mm, and yeah i'll be in touch that's all